So I was setting up for a video the other day, and an older gentleman was out walking around the lake. He came up to me and asked me what I was doing, and I explained to him, you know, I do uh, YouTube videos and try to get a little general information about camping and hiking out there. He goes, well, I've got a little tip for you. And I said, okay, and uh, willing to listen. He says, uh, you got a pack of matches with you? And I said, of course, I always carry an emergency pack of matches. He goes, what I want you to do is uh, take one match out and light it. Now I'm going to use the bigger matches. It's a little bit easier to see. So I took a match out. And I lit it. Lit right up. He goes, now, I want to put you in a situation. I said, okay. He goes, uh, you've lost your pack. Uh, it's raining out. It's cold. All you have on you are two of the little waterproof matches. I said, yeah. He says, you're shaking. You're probably going to get hypothermia soon. And you've already built up a little fire and you want to light the fire. And your body's under a lot of stress. I said, okay. He says, I want you to light the match as fast as you can with your hand shaking. I said, all right. The match broke. He goes, do you know why that happened? I said, no, I don't. He said, oh. I hand him the match and he showed me. He says, what you're doing is you're lighting the match from the top of the match. You know, in the middle of, of the stick. And it's applying a lot of pressure on there and it's causing it to break. If you take your thumb, put it down on the head of the stick, strike it, the match will light. You put the pressure on the head of the stick instead of on the match stick itself and that way it won't break. I said, okay, I'm going to give this a try and see if it works. So I took the match, struck it across the box, and it lit right up without breaking the match. I said, that's a great piece of ice. I asked him, do you mind if I uh, talk a little bit about it? And he said, absolutely. So I'd like to share I shared that information from an older gentleman who's much wiser than me. I'd like to pass that on to you guys. And uh, that's the correct way to light a match in a survival situation. As always, thanks for watching.